visa on arrival is increasing the number of visitors to Bali. The Indonesian Minister for Tourism and Creative Economies, Sandiagono, told reporters at his weekly news conference in Jakarta that the visa on arrival program is helping to increase tourist numbers. Minister Runo told reporters that the visa on arrival program has a direct impact on the amount of visitors visiting Indonesia in general, and especially Bali. According to data, 476,970 international visitors visited Indonesia in July 2022, he stated. The figure is the highest since the beginning of the COVID-19 epidemic. He revealed that 1.2 million international visitors visited Indonesia between January and July 2022, with the great majority visiting Bali. Minister Runo offered statistics to demonstrate his confidence in the program's performance. He said that tourist numbers surged by 40% between June and July 2022, as expected for the first full peak season since the epidemic began. The majority of overseas tourists came from Australia, followed by Singapore, Malaysia, India, and the United States in that order. Minister Uno verified 84,600 Australian trips to Indonesia in July 2022 based on BPS, National Statistics Office, data. A 31% rise over the previous month. In July 2022, Singapore had the second greatest number of visitors to Indonesia, with 59,800 persons. There were 43,600 visitors from neighboring Malaysia visited Indonesia. Minister Uno especially mentioned the amount of visitors visiting Bali. The number of international visitor arrivals to Bali reached 246,504 in July 2022, he stated. It is the highest figure, since the epidemic began, with an average of 9,000 individuals visiting each day. He affirmed that the bulk of local and foreign tourists came in Bali via Igustin Girirai International Airport and Benua Harbour. The tourism minister affirmed that the visa on arrival scheme will continue in force for the 75 nations now listed. He mentioned the Maldives, Monaco, and Colombia as recent additions. For nationals of the 75 countries, the visa on arrival costs 500,000 Indonesian rupees, 33 US dollars, and is payable upon arrival. This tourist visa is good for 30 days and may be extended once for another 30 days. Minister Uno underlined that the visa-free scheme for ASEAN citizens remained in force. Nine countries, namely the Philippines, Brunei Darussalam, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, have become subjects of the special visa-free program for tourism trips to Indonesia. He added, this collaboration also permits Indonesian people to visit the other eight countries without a visa. The announcement from Minister Uno corresponds with a statement published by Bali Governor Wayan Koster. Governor Koster delivered information from the province administration this week about the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccination deployment and the island's tourist revival. Governor Koster discussed how Bali is exceeding tourism objectives. It was intended that by December 2022, the Island of the Gods would have attracted 40% of its pre-pandemic visitors. Data from January to July 2022 suggest that numbers are approaching or exceeding 50% of pre-pandemic levels, putting the island's tourist recovery on pace. Earlier this year, Minister Uno announced his goals for the Indonesian tourist industry's recovery from the epidemic. He established a goal of welcoming 1 million international tourists to Bali by the end of the year. Governor Koster reported that 945,006 international arrivals have arrived in Bali by September 2, reaffirming that the island's recovery is on pace. With the G20 summit in November bringing foreign delegations and the world's media, as well as the Christmas and New Year vacations, Bali can confidently anticipate that tourist expectations for 2022 will be exceeded. After two years of travel restrictions and lockdowns, the end of the tunnel for Bali's tourism is nearing.